Are you serious? Are you serious? So the Bible says, go you into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. It's the great commission that God gave us and told us to preach the word. And I'm very excited about the World Vision Day. And of course, the first one was just held. And Harvest Army Church just did a tremendous job in putting people on the street, not only in New York City, but in several other cities around the nation and around the world. People were standing on street corners preaching the Word of God. And Dr. K.D. Collins, the pastor, the bishop of the uh, Harvest Army Church out of the Bronx, New York, is absolutely leading the way. I enjoyed when I preached there a couple years ago, actually, in their world revival they held in August of 2012. And God even gave me a message to preach while I was there. Uh, one of my messages was, uh, God's got one more move. And I can tell you, they've aired it on their television broadcast on the Word Channel a couple times already this year. And I can say that they are doing, they're leading the, they're leading the way. They go out on Times Square in New York and preach the powerful Word of God. Well, Mark Jackson, the former NBA Hall of Famer, I believe he's a Hall of Famer. If he's not, he should be. He was a great point guard for the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers and has been coaching out in California, I believe, with the Golden State Warriors up until recently. Well, he even went to the streets preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ on World Vision Day, which was July the 5th, 2014. Matter of fact, they're going to have a second World Vision Day of preaching the Word of God. It's coming October 4th at 12 noon, and it will be a powerful time as people will take to the streets around the world preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let me play for you right now from, from um, Harvest Army uh, they have a video that actually shows Mark Jackson preaching from the streets. Let me play for you right now just a little bit of the audio of that message. Wow, Mark Jackson preaching the word. I mean, that is an amazing, well, an amazing uh, example of just exciting to know that someone with his uh, reputation, someone with <clears throat> his notoriety would go to the streets in Los Angeles, California, right on the street corner with others and be preaching Jesus Christ to be the way, the truth, and the life. I mean, really, God bless Mark Jackson for doing that, but not only him. Thank God for all of those street preachers that are around the world. My dad was a powerful street preacher in his day. He would, every Sunday afternoon, after having church on Sunday, would then go to the streets in our hometown area and would stand on the street corners and preach the gospel with the fervency and the fire. That was in the days before YouTube. That was in the days before Facebook. That was in the days before doing what I do on a daily basis, and that's preaching the gospel to the world by using the technologies of the Internet. That's old school now, getting on the streets. My great-great-grandfather used to preach throughout 
the hills of eastern Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, riding a horseback and going from town to town, standing on the porches of homes in the hollers, four and five hundred people listening to him stand and preach the word. Or he would preach in school buildings or on street corners. My grandmother used to go into hospitals and anoint the sick and pray right on the spot and uh, just praying in the Spirit of God and helping uh, lead people to Christ and watching the sick be healed. So it is the Great Commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And we praise the Lord for that. I'll be right back. You know, I, I never forget this. When I was preaching in India, you go into the streets and you go into the villages. And I preached in these different uh, villages. Uh, you know, just and I would just stand underneath a tree and start preaching. And they would gather around and hear the word of the Lord. I'm telling you, if we'll just take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the lost, they can be and they shall be saved. Praise God. God bless Harvest Army. Church of the Bronx, New York, for doing a great job with the Great Commission. God bless. Keep praying.